guys, it's Nikki. Um, I hope you're all good and well and happy. Um, this piece has been sitting waiting for me to do a voiceover. Um, we're going to call it Serenity Rift. I've been struggling to find a name. So this is, I can't even remember the size of the canvas. I will have to measure it again and when I get around to editing, I'll put it underneath. Um, this is a canvas I made to go in place of something I have hanging in a shop for when it is sold. So I can hang work there in the future. Um, <clears throat> because the piece I have up just now is very heavy and it's on a really big French cleat, a big 18 inch long one. So um, this is, this is, this a kind of a spare, you know, it will still be up for sale. Um, so anyway, products I was using. Um, for this video, I was using Art Resin. I use Art Resin, resin for it, all the work that I do. It's a great all-round resin. Um, love the finish. Mm, amazing to work with. Um, as you know, I have, I'm doing my voiceover because in that video I was wearing my respirator. Unfortunately, I didn't have a long sleeve top on. Um, it was in a well ventilated, lots of good airflow. Um, and you do see me in camera a few times because this was quite a big piece and I've only ever worked on smaller stuff that you never ever get to see me in the videos for the most part. Um, so this is me, I mixed in my Johnston's white primer with which is a white and I put it down as a base um, and in with that I mixed um, some Just For You Online UK um, white um, just to give it a bit of extra because you can't have too much extra um, I did notice though because I maybe used 10% more than 10% that it was quite thick and I thought oh my goodness it's going to be difficult to spread it was like a <laughs> it was like putty when I put it on but as you can see I had my big guns torch there instead of my little tin, tiny one I had my big my big one so after heating it did spread a bit easier um, so yeah, uh, this is me just spreading out the white. Always use a double glove. This is me removing my glove. I mixed way too much resin for this video. Something I never do, probably because, excuse me guys, It was a bigger piece and I underestimated, uh, sorry, I overestimated, underestimated the amount of resin I would use. Always have some, some things on standby and I did, did manage to, you know, use the rest. But obviously because I knew I was filming it um, and I was on my toes, fair enough I'm doing the voiceover now so it's not like I was talking through the video. I was thinking on my feet um, and this is me, um, I've got my little plastic spreader just getting the extra bits um, but I was like oh geez oh <laughs> uh, I've I made too much resin but I ended up um, doing a lot lots of magnets with the leftovers um, it was very very fun um, t to have to kind of think on your feet when it's more small scale you kind of get used to knowing how much kind of resin you 
you know, if I, I'm if I'm doing the same size or something similar, I've calculated it in my head. I know how much to use. Um, so with this, with my, the other big piece I did, I didn't film any of that. So that was done at my own leisure. I didn't feel any pressure at all. And that was done in parts. So this was me doing something huge for me all in one go. That is as well, that I had already had a, a coat of resin over the top because it was a it was a linen stretched canvas over a wooden frame. It wasn't a wooden board. So I thought just to give it a bit of rigidity, um, because I'd heard sometimes when you're using resin on a canvas, it can sag in the middle. So I thought I would, you know, I did the water spray back thing. It still wasn't as um, taut as I wanted it to be, but the layer of resin on top did, for the most part, a good job. I have heard someone, um, a tip from someone saying, um, if you're using a, a linen canvas and you want to tighten it up, turn it over and lay it flat on something and use a cheap, cheap epoxy resin, one that you wouldn't normally use for your work, and just put it on the back side and that hardens it up. I've never done this, but I might in the future. Anyway, here we go, products. I was using um, Resonate UK. I, this one is, um, I haven't used it a lot, it's called Deep Pink. So obviously with with this piece I was going to, I was doing the swipe technique. I didn't mean to just do the line right through the middle. I had grand ideas in my head, but at, for two seconds before I started, I thought I changed my mind at the last minute. I wanted to do like a a line from the corner and swirl it around one side and then a vice versa but I I chickened out and stuck with what I thought was the safe option option this is again resonate UK um, vintage rose it's a beautiful color and again I'm running that down that side and then I put some down the inner side and after that I was using a mixture of pinata uh, silver alcohol ink with a small amount of just for you online UK silver pigment just like a mini amount because I didn't want it being over the 10% um, I learnt that lesson when I made up the white um, amazing colour again. It was a lovely sunny day that day. Try to use the best for the light. I had my tripod sitting up on top of a box so I could get the whole thing in the frame. And my work, that's my big work table. That one has wheels on the bottom of it so I can move that around um, I normally put it right in front of the window so when I'm doing a flood coat on anything I can kind of look and see on the reflection if I've missed any patches now so that comes in really handy this was me deciding what I was going to swipe with um, this was me giving it a, a blast of heat to pop all the bubbles to make it a bit more fluid um, because obviously I had my plastics spreader and I had lots of squares of what I normally use which is grease proof paper I do know people use wax paper and obviously I have to give credit to Erica and Jeff at Artist of Death um, 
obviously without Erica, you know, resin, swipe ping, producing cells, you know, it's taken us all a long time to figure it out and thanks to her, you know, it's now possible. I can make cells in resin. Um, so yeah, I've done a few videos and obviously haven't keep forgetting to credit people because I know it's, you know, it's a big thing. Um, and we should all try a little bit harder to remember to give people credit. So, um, thank you, ATD, um, for doing the, the resin swipe, um, cells video. Uh, I know, I really appreciate it. The things that we're able to do now, you know, is the, they're just amazing, really are amazing. So yeah, let's get on. So yeah, this was me just trying to heat before swiping. I think I that's me using my paper now. I definitely want to invest in some wax paper. I think it's a bit heavier, so you can drag it along further, and there isn't so much. Um. It was, it was quite a thick mix, you know, even with the heat, I felt like I should have put a little bit more pressure on it to bring it further into the negative space, but it did work out well, and obviously I end up doing the other two corners as well, so um, I was happy all round with it, um, as I said, it's taken me weeks and weeks, it's been sitting there waiting for me to edit and voice over two seconds peeps but obviously I've been doing my new resin project so that had kind of taken taken over but I thought I'd do an in between um, and do something different I and I have two more videos to edit after this um, flood coats on the purple new, new resin project and my shark, my underwater shark. Um, so I did flood coats on both of those yesterday um, and I've split them into two so I could do two videos out of them. Two more voiceovers, yay! I was doing that and thinking, oh my god, the cells are amazing. And I can't believe it. And they stayed. My main worry, <coughs> excuse me, uh, when I was finished this piece and I had got everything cleaned up and covered it all over was the fear of walking in the next day, lifting the cover and the cells would have disappeared and they didn't thank, thank the lords. Um, but I had that pack. I actually <laughs> had trouble sleeping because that's I was really worried the whole night, even though it was obviously only meant to be a spare canvas. I still wanted it to look. I still wanted it to be as good as my best work. You know, for the for the 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 girl that it was going to the shop that I have my other my other painting hanging in. Just wanted it to look amazing for her. Um, and obviously, she, you know, she wanted the pinks and the silver, so I was like, it's got to be perfect, you know, those cells have to stay, um, so, and obviously, at the end of the video, I don't know if I do a, I don't know if I do a close-up at the end or not, I can't quite remember. I'm not sure. I think I do. I think I did one afterwards. Um, and obviously, at the start of the video, you'll know that I now have an intro. I made an intro. It's nothing special. It's just very basic. Um, and I obviously have been toying with the idea of when I started a couple of years ago, you know, it was just 
I, I, I don't know. I didn't expect to be doing everything that I'm doing today. Um, I did obviously want to have other people enjoy my art and you know the name the name Jaffa Angel Art um, is based around uh, we used to have a lab cross collie and he was called Jaffa Jaffa Cake bless him um, and we lost him a, a lot of years ago he was the best dog ever you know you just couldn't have asked he was amazing he was well behaved he was placid he was happy he was just brilliant you know really we loved him to bits we did so obviously we used to just call him Jaff um, and you know years down the line he had a really horrible unfortunate accident he he was always a great off the lead. He he never went anywhere. He walked by your side. He never went near the road. He was so clever. He used to, if you ever had to hold his lead, he would ask for it halfway home, and he would just poodle along, and carry it in his mouth. Um, and unfortunately, one day he he was going to go out, and it was you know not in too much detail it was pouring with the rain he ran out into the road and he was unfortunately hit by a van thankfully he survived um we went through a few months of you know struggle uh, well at, at the beginning a few weeks of struggling whether to decide because his back leg was that badly injured um to make the decision for him that he 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 could cope without it, the vet assured us, uh, so we made that choice for him. Um, he was about 10, coming up for a living when that happened, and he bounced back, you know, as soon as, as soon as the operation was over, you know, and he was back home, and he still, you know, he was, he had cataracts, he was going deaf, but he bounced back and he was just, you know, we, we had him until he was 15 and, you know, we made the we made the right choice. So, obviously, that's where the name comes from. Um, after we lost him, obviously, as many people do, we, we swore we wouldn't ever get another dog because the heartbreak it is a lot to deal with. You know they're they're your children they're your furry children um and we missed them so much and we spent four years four years without another dog in the house um we had other animals but not a dog and um, obviously we decided that we would we would get another dog and now we have two <laughs> uh but we still talk about him all the time we talk about him to to the our furry babies we have now we're always saying your brother did this and your brother did that and some people would think we're mad and you probably will out there as well um but i want to fill the videos with things you know a lot of people you know just it's having that little bit of background so that's where the name comes from some people would think it's quite not childish but as a a bigger brand now you know and having commissions and selling more things lots of people love it and it is a good name but I had toyed with the idea of changing it um give me your thoughts I really would appreciate everybody's thoughts on the matter um pop them in the comments if you think it is a good business name or it could do with the change um you know, I'm sure Jaff would understand. Uh, but that's where it came from to begin with. You know, I've used it for years. Um, so, yeah, thoughts on that? Um, I don't, not, I'm not, you know, I don't, 
obviously we have our moments where we miss Sam, but for the most part we remember all the happy times and all the funny stuff. He was really funny. He loved swimming. You couldn't take him anywhere where there was water and he wouldn't want to be in it. And our youngest buddy baby, uh, Dixon, um, he's exactly the same. He loves water just like his just like his older brother did, you know. Um anyway, back to the painting. So that's a little snippet of information. Um so this was me, I'd got the middle bit done and I was um trying to decide looking at it. I was standing there, so that's me wiping my plastic spreader thinking okay I'm gonna finesse a few of the middle bits excuse me guys um and thinking I wanted to pull out some more colour I learned a lot from doing this big piece all in one go and I think the next time, I, I'm a very well prepared person, everything was ready first, uh, everything was leveled, the resin was all mixed, because I don't, I don't do that on camera, I know a lot of people do that on camera, um, make sure everything's all, like, or get everything set up and then mix the resin on camera, um, but I like to be extra prepared for every eventuality and even still I wasn't because I had tons left. This was just me putting some extra silver lines down that middle bit and the per it wasn't a perfect finish. I think the white was definitely too thick and if I could have gotten away with giving it a flood coat because it didn't get a flood coat I didn't want to make it too heavy because it was a linen canvas. Um, so this is me doing the corners. That corner's just out of view of the camera. I should have maybe slid the table back, but I didn't realise till I was finished. This is me moving everything. This is me like panic. Oh my goodness, <laughs> where am I going to put everything? I've left myself no room. I have two pieces on my big table just now. Um, <coughs> this table is two tables. Um, metal plated together, as I said, with wheels on the bottom just so it's easier to move around and um, when I was up there <coughs> excuse me the other day I was thinking crikey if I get a big piece, six foot piece then I'd, I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to need to get another table <laughs> to go on that and put more wheels on legs um because I do want to do bigger pieces I really would um I really would love that, uh, but we will just wait and see what what happens in the future. I'll, I'll be quiet for a couple of minutes, take a breath. So this was me getting ready to swipe those corners and whilst you're watching that I was playing with the idea of maybe doing a live video Um, the thought of that really really fills me with dread it's you know it's fun I, I 
I love doing it. I love doing these because I could do the voiceover afterwards. Alive is alive. You know, you're on. You're committed. And you just have to go with it. I've, I've spoken to um, another really well-known artist on here. Um, and obviously she said, go for it. You know, and I really want to. Um, obviously, I would be wearing my respirator. So I would still, wouldn't be able to speak to you. I could just kind of like, I don't know, try to figure it out. Still voice. I think, I don't know if you can do a voiceover after you've finished doing a live. I'm not sure. See, that's how much I know. Can you? I don't know. Obviously, these the, the bulk of these longer videos go up on YouTube. And then when I've done the YouTube one, I will re-edit and do my 10-minute IGTV ones. Because I've not got that many followers on Instagram that I get a full hour yet. Uh, or that would just be so much easier. Um, and then I wouldn't have to cut them all short. But I'll get there. I will. I'm very confident that I will. One day I, I'll be able to do an hour's video on my IGTV. That's the plan. It's just me. Straightening out my case proof paper. I think when I got down to the corners, I was a, a little bit more firm with it. And I thought, well, I can't go and redo the middle bit now. I, I th halfway through realised if I just put that tiny bit more pressure on. Um, and that was me. I'm not used to... Uh, normally before I would pick my torch up, I always would wipe my hands because I don't want to get it all over. I don't want to get resin all over the, the on off and this, the, the, you know, that's me like, oh my goodness, hands are dirty. So I'm away to wipe them. Even though I have gloves on, it, it, it still freaks me out. I don't know about you, I don't know about all of you, but I'm, I try to be a very tidy, clean, organised artist. I don't, I don't like there being anything out of the ordinary when I'm, when I've used everything, everything gets wiped, put back in its place, um, all my tools, everything gets wiped and put away or left to dry, I'll re-wipe my sticks and I'll put them all under the canvas and wait till the next day, peel all the resin out of everything um, if I'm pushed for time. If not, I will stand there and everything gets cleaned. All the cups get sat on their sides underneath so I can take the resin out. And um, then that way I can just reuse everything. Um, I don't like to waste anything. Um, obviously, I do use a lot of wipes and greaseproof paper, but I'm working on that. I do have my... I've got bottles of isopropyl alcohol, um, so I do really tend to use a lot of that for cleaning stuff at the end. What was I doing here? Oh, I was adding more. Ah, I was going to do two silver lines through the white negative space. Um, but the way that I'd seen a few people doing it with, uh, you know, just dipping it in, dipping a stick in and kind of like, instead of pouring it, just using the, the stick to lay it down but it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to 
um, which is fair enough. I learned a, a lesson there. I think that it was too. I did. I put too much alcohol in it, not enough powder. So I ended up just pouring it on. But you live and learn. That was me going, right, ditching that idea. That's not working properly. Oh, actually, I got a stick out instead, a bigger one. That's me ditching that idea too. That was me pouring it in to the rest of the silver and thinking, <laughs> I'm just going to use that instead because the idea didn't work in the first place. So I'm sure these things happen when you're on a live too. The unforeseen things and obviously I wasn't going to cut it out of the video. I just thought I'd go over the flow and you can see all the all the drama and all the mini mistakes because I suppose that's what it's about learning everything's not going to be perfect the first time round well it blinking well should be <laughs> but it wasn't which is fine I love that silver the other side uh, looked a bit funky there was a big it was a big, um, oh, what's it called? I've lost the word. Uh, it was a bit too, there was like a bigger bit at the bottom and I was meant to fix it and I didn't. Yeah, that's what, blow it out with a torch. Um, I'm going to try and invest in a better torch heat gun I've seen a lot of people using the Wagner one the yellow one I know a few people have reviewed it some people like it and some people don't and I've seen a few people using it and it looks amazing um, I think the heat's good but the there's not enough oomph uh, to blow it to blow the resin or to blow the colours across so I'm in two minds because my one is gets too hot um, and obviously you don't want to scorch your resin. I think I did that on a couple of parts. That's why the finish wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to. But everybody loved it anyway so I worried about nothing. So that's the name. Serenity Rift. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd much appreciate it. I think this is me just casting my eye over. Deciding if I was finished. I think, see, the problem I've got on my end is I can never see the timer. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'd love some love. I'd love a comment. Subscribe, and I will catch you all soon, guys. You all take care. Bye.